want to continue bringing students back into the district because we, we have so much to offer in Kingsville. Every decision we make is going to be in the best interest of students. Produced by Podcast Architects. Welcome back to part two. Joining Dr. Reynolds Perez from Kingsville ISD, a board member, Yay. Joe Morales. Welcome, sir. Yeah, thank you. Thanks we for we saw back. for the audience. We saw Joe walking by, and it's a pleasure to have him and hear his perspective. You know, to to lead a board and to and to be a part of a community and to have the pulse of the community. It's it's a it's a noble job, number one, and we want to get your perspective because we know y'all are doing some great things in Kingsville. So, Joe, let me ask you first. Why? Why run for the school board? Because <laughs> right now, it's been tough a couple for a uh -huh. few years now. I would say it's it's the toughest time in education, not only to lead a district, but to help a leader lead a district and guide a district. So, so why? Let me shut up and you just well, tell me why. I, I'm a retired principal. Ah. Uh, and um, I, I was out of it for a couple of years, and then uh, you know the election came up. And it's just serving our community yes. uh, and, and just being there and supporting our, our students, the staff, uh, superintendent, and uh, and moving Kingsville forward. You know, and, and we've made some huge strides in doing that now. And it, it's giving back to the community. So a retired principal. So who pulled you? Was there one person that kind of gave you the tap on the shoulder to, to drag you back in? Well, it, it was a it was a family decision. Ah, okay. Uh, yeah, we we thought about it. Uh, we prayed about it. And, uh, you know, it was the right time to do it. So, you know, you know, you have a great one here, right? <laughs> yes. I mean, and just tell, just talk about her a little bit. And I don't want to, I don't want to embarrass her, but it, you, you know this, y'all both know this. Leadership matters, mm -hmm. right? And to sit in the seat, to sit in that seat right now is one of the hardest, most difficult jobs that, that, that I can, that I can think of. Mm -hmm. And it's, it's service, right? Just what does it mean to have Sissy lead the district and do the job that she's doing. It's a huge job that, that takes a lot of energy. Uh, it, it's it's uh, it's never ending. Yeah. Uh, it's it's a uh, it's a seven day. She's getting text messages, uh, calls uh, at all times of the day and night. Uh, I've texted her you know many times. <laughs> and, uh, it, it's it's uh, leading the district, and not always. Uh, there's a, a few people that might not like the direction we're going in. Sure. But it it uh, serves everybody, and and once they people see where we're headed, uh, they're more to jump on board with us and 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 just move uh, KISD to the highest levels we can get it. What does it mean to you uh, to have a former principal, an educator, as a part of the board? How does that add value when you're you're talking through? either changes or adjustments to things that you want to do for schools? Oh, I think it's helpful because um, it's part of the history, you know. Sure. And a lot of times before you're going to move forward, you need to find out, okay, where have you been? Um, some real, you know, yeah. real experiences to find out how was it as a principal at the time. Uh, and he'll let me know how difficult it was. And um, and I, and I want to make sure that we're not going down that road again, sure. you know, on some of those things. Um, but also, um, he's very well respected in the community. And um, so he'll, and people trust that he'll say um, the right thing, you know, as far as, uh, he's a straight shooter, yeah. you know. <laughs> and, um, and I like straight shooters because Absolutely. you know don't sugarcoat it just tell me the facts you know if this is what we need to do then this is what we need to do is what we need to fix we need to fix it um, but he has that educator perspective and it's it's wonderful because our whole board you know each person brings something to the table and um, we I value that so and, and I, I want to ask this to both of you how do you create the relationship right and not to say that y'all are gonna agree 100% on every single thing because no board does but I, I, I well know that the relationships with your board and superintendent are critical. How do y'all continue to grow as a team of eight together? So well, take a shot first. Yeah, okay. Well, we're, uh, the great thing about it is the communication we have amongst ourselves. Uh, we, we, can, uh, we put things out there. We talk about them. We discuss them. We shoot them around. Uh, and if it's something that, that that's, uh, we can do, uh, and, and we move forward with it, but it's it's 
every decision we make is going to be in the best interest of students, our students, our staff, the community. So making decisions that way moves us forward, and sure. it's, it's easier to, you know, because it's all for the right things. Mm -hmm. We try to be the devil's advocate, you know, because yes. in every in every community, there's always going to be a small faction uh, that's going to try to challenge everything that we do. And in some ways, that's actually a good thing because it keeps us on our toes, sure. you know. Um, and uh, we are able to think about things before we even roll things out because we want to make sure that we've, you know, vetted everything as, as, as well as possible. Um, but for the most part, the rest, the rest of the community has been very supportive. Uh, we would not have been able to roll out some of the things that we have had we not gained their support, right. you know, so. Absolutely. Joe, what do y'all tease her about? <laughs> Dr. Pepper. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's my Dr. Pepper right yes. there. Yes, I have to have my is Dr. That, is Pepper. That your, is that your drink, oh, like everywhere yeah, else? That is my go-to, yes. yes. <laughs> That's fine. That, who is most likely on the board to make a joke during a board meeting? Mm. David? David and, right. and Joseph. Oh, Joseph, for sure. Yes. You yes. Got, so you yes. got a couple, you got some, you got some yes. pranksters? Yes, 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 yes. You need that, though. Yes. Yeah, yes. You know, a lot of your, a lot of discussions are, you know, they're tough or they're difficult or you're, you're working really through, all right, how do we do this better? Right, so right, right, it's right. all, you got to have at least a couple on there. Yes, that, that yes. Keep Keeps it light. light. Yes. Exactly, exactly. But real. Light, uh -huh. but real. Absolutely. <laughs> Joe, from a perspective of being an educator, now you're, you're guiding in a different way. What are some things over the horizon that you want to see, that you want, want the district to, to aspire to? Well, we, we want to continue uh, bringing students back into the district because we, we have so much to offer yes. in Kingsville. And uh, we, we try to get that out there. You know, we're, we're going to get better at getting it out there. But the, the programs we offer uh, it, it, around as far as the area, Y'all have done a ton of work, and I just want to say, just because I, I, I have some friends at, at AM Kingsville, y'all have done a ton of work for adding options for yes. kids. Yeah. You know, and yeah. I agree, like, get that out there because yeah. they will come back. And I'm sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt you, but I, I see it. I yeah. see he's, it. He follows it. He's been yeah. following us for the past oh, yeah. few years. Because yeah. I love, I love, sorry, love everything CTE. Uh, I live it, breathe it. I just yeah. love it. So, uh -huh. and I'm always like, man, they are, they are rocking and rolling. Yeah. They're, 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 they're going to, not only offer more options, but kids are going to come out employable. Right, mm -hmm. right, exactly. That's Whatever their path may be, like exactly. employable, high right. wage, exactly. great jobs. Yes. Exactly. Sorry, Joe, I didn't mean to cut you off. Oh, that's not, so not a problem, but that, that's, that's what we're shooting for. And, and, you know, if there's a need and we see there's a need uh, for a group of students that will help them in, in uh, life after high school, then that's where we're going to take. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. How do you keep her longer? What do you, how do you, how do you keep her, keep her in Kingsville, keep her going, keep, keep, keep a great leader. You got, you keep great leaders. You find a great leader, you figure out how to make it happen. I would say that to anybody, um, in any, any, what, give me, you got a trick, yeah, something. I, I, I think, uh, the, the support, uh, yes. you know, there's some things, uh, we, we can't keep doing the same thing. Sure. And there's sometimes that we might think, you know, should we do that? We do it and it works. So someone that's willing to take that risk in you the best of interest of students. <laughs> uh, and we, we, we talk about it. We might, are you sure? Are you sure we should do this or do that? But once we see it in work and it's working in practice, uh, and we're moving forward with it. When she brought you the, you know, the, the movement that she started, I know she came and said, hey, this is, this is wrong, and I would like to take this step. How did you know you know what, she's right, and we're gonna do this for our kids and our community. Did, did you know instantaneously, or were we like, oh, yeah. man, what's this gonna do? We, 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 just because I've been in the system, yes. and, and seeing that things that we did and continue to do didn't work, we had to take that step forward and, and, and just have the courage to move forward and, and to do things differently, and, and it's paying off. I mean, no question, so, <laughs> and, and you know this, but everybody, all the superintendents, big and small, know who's leading this charge mm -hmm. for for really fairness and equity for our schools mm -hmm. yes right? and for exactly. and to give the kids in the schools a chance because growth you ask for growth we gave you growth you shuffle the deck right and in midstream you know we were playing old maid you want now you're playing uno come on now i mean <laughs> that's a good analogy yeah. I, I stole that from amy from raise your hand texas i don't want to take, okay. take credit for that one so, so you, i need to cite my sources but you but you have 
you're leading the state. Mm -hmm. <laughs> or, excuse me, Kingsville ISD is leading the state for equity for, for our kids. Yes, exactly. And we yeah. knew it was bigger than just Kingsville. Right. When we right. made that, we said, we're not doing this just for the Kingsville Bramas, we're doing it for all students, you know, Absolutely. and all teachers. And that's what it's become. And communities, yes. yes. Well, so, I thank mean, you. No, thank, thank you. Thank you and thank you for, for service and supporting, you know, a, a champion for kids and being a champion for kids and mm -hmm. spending a little time with me and, and talking to little school. So yes. we appreciate it. Thanks, thank, thank both of you for joining yeah, the show. Thank you so much. Anything you want to shout out, um, any, any, anything, your website or yeah. event coming up or, or oh, yeah. both or anything. Yeah, yeah, yes, um, if anything, um, use every election and yes. vote, you know, use your voice uh, because it is the legislators, it is the lawmakers that are making some of the laws uh, that will help move us forward. The legislators need to hear from you, you know, from everybody um, and about what is the right thing to do for Texas public schools. Um, now it's for Bramas, uh, go Bramas. And um, please follow us, okay? Follow our Facebook page, follow us on Twitter, Keensville ISD. And um, we would love to be able to see what's happening also all over the world as well, you know, so we'll follow you back. Awesome. Got some great things, some great programming. So if you're coming to the area, yes. check them out. Absolutely. Them out. We've yes. got a lot to show there in Kingsville, Texas. Yes, we have a lot. <laughs> yes, lots to show. Awesome. Thank you all. Thank you. Yeah. Produced by Podcast Architects.